Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to prevent your recliners from shredding your wall or your family members who come visit and recline and shred your wall. The first thing you want to put together is a couple of things. A putty knife or scraper or whatever you want to call it. A tape measure, scissors or snips, a dowel. This one seems to be about three feet long. And then a yoga mat. I got it at the 99 cent store as well as some 100% silicone. And now I'm not sponsoring anyone in particular, I'm just letting you guys know this is what worked for me. So the first thing I wanna do when it comes to the prevention mitigation is recline your seat as far as you would like it. For me, that's about good right there. You can, for me it was like three fingers. Once you have that measurement, you wanna identify the distance between the rail and the edge of the wall. That's 15 inches for me. You then want to cut the dowel at that measurement and you'll need two of them, one for each side. And also cut the yoga mat into, this is like one and a half inch by one inch. I wasn't really measuring accurately. I just need something to put under the rail as well. This will keep it from sliding and it'll also catch the uh, silicone so it doesn't get all over your floor. Once the dowel is cut, you slide the pink yoga mat anti-slip under this corner. Put the dowel on top of that and then drop silicone so that it uh, adheres to the rail and to the pad as well. You want to put another little square of the yoga mat in the front rail. Nothing special on that. Once it dries, some things will get on the, on the floor sometimes where you want the putty knife. Scrape it off. Scrape it away. So silicone is my go-to because it's so easy to remove if you need to. All right. That looks good. And now I'm gonna try to push it back. And problem solved. All I have to do now is repair the wall and hope that uh, my big family members don't come and put their full force behind the, <laughs> that poor little dowel. But for the most part, there's no play, so that dowel should do the trick. Hopefully this will help you guys. This is the second time I repair this wall, so hopefully that will help anyone else out there prevent the hassle that I'm going through now. Good luck.